both of you guys have been struggling with your shot a little bit for the last couple of weeks. How good does it feel to get the monkey off your back and beat the number six team in the process? Um, <clears throat> I mean, we just tell each other to keep shooting. Um, not just us two, just everybody that shoots the ball, honestly. Uh, every night going to be your night, but one thing that carry over um, that the coaches uh, harp on is our defense. So we just continue to play, just continue to hoop. Tyrese, you hit that three uh, uh, late. I, Go ahead, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, like Bruce said, I know our shots. I just, as a team, <clears throat> we haven't been shooting well. Um, so we just wanted to continue to just get stops so we know stops to lead us to our offense. And I know... They scored 90 points, which is a lot, but I feel like we were still together as a team. We told each other to just keep shooting and you know, the shots are going to fall and we'll be fine at the day. I think that's what happened tonight. Terry, so you hit that three late and they get them, get them called for the offensive foul. What was your view on that? When did you know the foul was called uh, on that play? Uh, I mean, when I laid on the ground, <laughs> I, I looked directly at the ref that called it. And uh, I mean, I think zero and 18 was doing it the whole night. I don't think uh, I did it purposely. If that's what I did, or that's what the video showed, I don't think I did it intentionally. But hey, um, I just needed to uh, move on to the next play, and my team did a good job of helping with that. Was there any point after the whistles one that you thought you might have gotten the and one instead of getting the foul call? Or I did. I thought it was the and one at first, but like I said, I looked uh, at the ref that called it, um, and he, he just, you know. He did that, and I was like, really? <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> and then for both of you, what, what was there any talk, or did there need to be any talk about free throws down the stretch? Because down the stretch, y'all were, were really good at the free throw line. Um, no, I think our team knows that one of our main key points of um, our offense is make free throws. Get fouled, offense rebound, get fouled. It's two of the things that we harp on a lot. So we knew down the line, we got in the bonus. Coach said it in like 12 minutes. Yep. He was like, we got to get in the bonus because it'll help us at the end, and it did. So we just want to continue to harp on that and um, make sure we finish our free throws. Wait, do y'all even look at this and say, hey, this is a, a game that can change the, the, the direction of the season, or do you just look at it as like, okay, got a big win? Um, it's only the third game of conference. I think we should look at every game like that because, you know, we start off 0-2, and, and, I mean, every game in this league is big because you never know who can be on that night. But this was – um. I think the right step in the direction. I think we did a lot of great things tonight. Um, kudos to Kentucky. They played really well. Um, but I think tonight we just show um, how resilient we are um, and how the Aggies play. Tyrese, this is the best you've felt since you've been back? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, <clears throat> um, in preparation, coming to the game, my team uh, and the coaching staff did a real good job of, um, you know, pad work, uh, game shots, and uh, just our preparation for the game. And coming into the game, uh, even to the start of the game, um, they were just saying, just hoop, just be myself. Uh, just like I was telling four, and just like I was telling Jace and uh, the rest of the team. So I think, yes, this is the best I felt. And you, know, you guys said you know, every conference game is big, but you know, what does this do momentum-wise that you, know, you have a, a win like this, especially early on, that you know, hopefully this kind of play carries over? I mean, we finally in a win, Kyle. You know, um, but I think this is just, it's just a momentum swinger as far as like us finally like showing that um, all the things that we're working on and all the things that we're doing is, is the right thing. So I think that's just um, the way we have to look at it, you know, watch film, just correct the things that we didn't do so well tonight, but just continue to just be um, thankful for it, for getting the win today. For either of you guys, uh, what does what Solomon Washington do to you guys, mm. especially mm. on the mm. How much did y'all miss him? Too? It's his energy, man. Um, his energy is everything. Um, it just, it's the spark we need, you know? Um, and I can say with that, he leads the team with um, just bringing that energy uh, day in, day out. You know, um, in times when we're down or in times when uh, we need it, it don't, it don't make, uh, like you don't need a specific time for him to bring it, he brings it, you know? That's just him, that's the elite part of his game. It's just bringing that energy, bringing that spark, you know? Yeah, I think it's contagious. Um, He's not scared of anything, so I just feel like once he checks in and once he gets locked in on either side of the ball, man, he's um he's a heck of a player. Did you think you had it won in regulation? Say it again. Did you think you had it won in regulation? Uh you, you, you never <clears throat> I mean, it was it was close. <laughs> so uh, we never wanna be Jacob with that. Um uh, it turned like we had to go in overtime and play a whole nother game. So uh just being locked in in the moment. 
uh, that was taking place, I think it was really important for us. So we're not going to say we just thought we had it won because, I mean, Kentucky got a really good team. They hit big time shots, you know, and uh, it just took us to overtime and we did what we needed to do to get the win. So did you foul on that? On that last play, you know? I felt I swiped, but I don't think I fouled. But I mean, it may say different. Andy so, yeah. said yesterday that Solo is his twin. <laughs> so, what do you feel like having both of them out there gives y'all down low? Uh, energy on top of that. See, Solo is more vocal than Andy. Andy brings it through his game, through the hustle plays, and through the rebound, and he he harp on that. He is a live or die rebounder, you know? So uh, just like every game, Andy tell uh, whoever shoots the ball, man, shoot the ball, I'm going to go get it. I don't care. Just shoot it, you know? Uh, and that's the energy uh, Andy bring without saying a lot, and Solo is more vocal. But down there together, uh, uh, I don't know where to start on that. I just think <laughs> those two guys know their role yeah. and how important they are to our team. I think once they check in, they know exactly what to do to make sure that we excel in the right way. Um, Andy specifically, because he's been around a little bit longer than Solo, but Solo is just so um, gifted and, and talented. So he just he's just out there just making plays. Yeah, do y'all feel like you played with consistent energy? Yes, for sure. For sure. That's one of the things we talked about. Um, we would always start off high energy. Um, it would kind of die down. So at halftime, I kind of told the team and just – Let's just come out again and just continue to fight how we've been fighting. Um, I think our energy, us and the 12th man, kind of overwhelmed them a little bit down the line, and I think that helped us get a win. Yep. What did you guys talk about the huddle before overtime started? Holding up the game. Um, zero regulations zero. over. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. We got to continue to get a turkey. We have to get the turkey in overtime, and we would win. I know. You are talking about that solo kind of being hype and energy. It was not a surprise at all. Was it you that you needed to – have him come over to give you a five after the free throw because he was too busy getting the crowd hyped there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of just a routine we do. Like we just want to get everybody to adapt because if, we, if um, one of us does something that helps our team, we need to make sure that we acknowledge it. And um, I just wanted to keep him level headed at the same time. You know, Solo will get he'll get too excited, so I just wanted to make sure we was all grounded until we can pull out the back. win. Yeah, Got to bring him back in. Yeah, for sure. First win. Since, sorry, just saying, first win over Kentucky since Buzz has been here. I mean, Facts. Does that mean anything? Yeah. Just, I mean, we just talked about it this morning. Um, we had shots with Buzz yesterday, the skills we do. He was like, neither one of us, nobody that's here has won against Kentucky since anybody's been here. So um, today was another stepping stone that we made. Did either of you guys ever get the sense that uh, after the LSU game that people were starting to doubt you? As a team, how good y'all could be? Uh, that's why we call them civilians. Yeah. It don't really matter. Um, yeah. we, we we know we're in here working hard every day to be the best we can be. So um, <laughs> people are going to say what they want to say. So we just continue to work hard and show, and show who we really are. Okay, anything else? Thanks, guys. Woo-hoo. Thank you, all